Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm talking about our solar eclipse on June 10th, 2021. So this is going to be an amazing um, spectacle. Um, even if you're not able to see it, you're going to feel it. Um, and I know uh, for a lot of us in Texas, where we were, we were not able to see the lunar eclipse on um, May 26th, but you could still feel the energy of it. And so that's what we're going to be really concentrating on today is the energy of this and kind of what's going planetary wise and how it's going to affect our solar eclipse and how that's going to affect us. So really this is, um, everybody's calling it the ring of fire because the way it's going to line up, it's going to perfectly be aligned. And so it's going to look like the sun is just like a ring around it. So it's going to be really beautiful. And I know people are going to catch amazing pictures of this. Um, it's a really strong energy. Um, and one of the things that happens is as we go through this eclipse, it's kind of like, um, in a strange sort of way, the sun is kind of being turned off for a little bit, except for that ring. So it's going to leave a little bit of a glow, but this is going to bring out things that, um, need to see the light of day. So that's kind of something to keep concentrating on or kind of keep thinking about. Um, one of the things that's going to be one of the strongest aspects of all of this is the sun is going to be conjunct to the moon. And this is going to kind of give us an, kind of like an instant uh, boost of energy. And this is going to bring up a lot of emotional energy as well. Um, and it's kind of the interesting part of it is you're going to feel like all of the possibilities are possible at the same time. So it's kind of like, where do I want to go and what do I want to create? Um, bringing that energy and kind of a great time to make a fresh start or kind of turn over a new leaf, um, start something new, something big. What do you want to bring into the world? And kind of also in a way, kind of like questioning our old habits, behaviors, and beliefs and kind of like, what do we want to get rid of or what do we want to push in a different direction so that we can um, bring this energy to light? So one of the things that's also going to happen is our solar eclipse is also conjunct to Mercury and Mercury is in retrograde right now. And so this is going to be kind of like an interesting energy. Of It's going to be putting a lot of focus in on um, our thinking, our communications, Mercury always messes with communication to an extent, but this is going to highlight it even more. And people that have been um, really having communication issues or been withholding the truth or not communicating everything that they should be, this is going to come to light. Um, it's going to find the light of day um, in that ring around. So it's one of those, it's going to be really interesting of how things are going to play out in this time frame, how this energy is going to affect us. It is going to be close to the earth, so it's going to affect everybody to an extent. Um, this will be one, because it is so close to the United States, it's going and over Canada, it's going to affect these two countries probably more than any of the others because it's right above them as this alignment happens. Um, but this is also going to be kind of messing with um, issues over the internet, uh, rules and regulations over the internet. Um, this is kind of going to be um, in kind of like enhancing our rational thinking. And because of that, we're going to start to see things differently. It's kind of like, wait, this made sense up until now, and now it doesn't make sense, and I need to find the answer why. So that's going to be pushing more and more energy. Um, you are going to kind of feel more vulnerable at times, and maybe even more um, deception coming out from other people. So maybe something that you start feeling uh, with people around you or people um, near you, but I guarantee you're going to really feel this um, uh, public wise. You're going to feel this like uh, with movie stars, um, political figures, that sort of thing. You're going to find that even more um, because you've got this retrograde um, aspect to this uh, solar eclipse being conjunct with the solar eclipse. So this is going to bring a lot of people um, kind of unexpectedly meeting up from the past um, that you're going to have to kind of like, I thought I'd already categorized this person or let them go at some point in my life and here they are again. Um, I will take uh, make sure that you take extra care with your words and try not to react too quickly in arguments. Um, really double check um, emails and text messaging and make sure that you're really clear on this so that you get the most clear communication you possibly can. Um, I also get kind of like on the um, 
there's going to be things that are going to be coming out in the light, um, emails coming out to the, um, in the light, um, kind of seeing what people personally think or how they think about things kind of coming to the light. And at first it's going to be very confusing, like why would they do this and why aren't they saying this or whatever it is. You're going to see that more and more um, as this comes around and over the next few months as well. Um, our solar eclipse is also square to Neptune. And this is going to kind of make us feel um, like it may, for some people, it may be hard to um, get motivated, uh, where the eclipse might, might people feel, some people feel very motivated. The Neptune, if you've got Neptune in a couple of your houses uh, big time, it's going to make you feel kind of like unmotivated or demotivated. Um, and it also may make you feel insecure. Um, it can also amp up your own guilt. If you're a person that carries a lot of like guilt, I'm so sorry all the time, that's going to bring that up. And then that's also going to bring up kind of like um, a lot of confusion. Like, why do I feel this again? I thought I've already dealt with this. Um, there's going to be um, a lot of secrets that are going to find the light of day. And this is all over the world. Uh, like I said, this is going to affect everybody in some way. And so you're going to see secrets coming out. Um, people kind of like saying their truth, um, the secrets are coming out, kind of not being able to be hidden anymore, um, seeing um, only the best in people um, is kind of an interesting part, but it's kind of like you're really going to see the true part of the person. A lot of people hide who they really are or hide their true feelings, and those are going to start coming forward as well. Um, let's see. Um, this is could lead to a lot of scandals and slander because of all of that truth coming out and kind of finding the light of day. Um, and it's one of those, a lot of people are going to feel very deceived um, by different influences. Um, and this could be in all the kinds of dealings that you've done with um, either um, since the uh, lunar eclipse all the way through for the next few months. Um, let's see. You may also see a lot of paranoia uh, come up in people. Um, this is just kind of something that it heightens on our planet as we kind of go through all of this. And that's kind of both the aspect of being squared in Neptune and being conjunct with Mercury. Um, now let's talk a little bit about crazier energy because Mercury is square to Neptune. So that's going to push a lot of energy into a small space. Um, this is going to bring up more confusion, more deception, insecurity about misunderstandings like um, people being cheated on, be being lied to, um, people not telling the truth. All of that is going to be coming up and it's going to be very complicated, um, almost like spaghetti type of dealings with people. Like as I pull this one out and I think I'm finding the truth, there's more deception and more lies um, mixed in there. Um, I will tell people to speak clearly, uh, make sure that you're clear on what terms um, you're uh, trying to go through. And um, there is really, at this point, there is no room for misunderstandings or misinterpretations. So make sure that you're really clear about um, what you do and do not do. Um, kind of government wise, it's one of those that's going to bring up a lot of legal matters. Um, people seeking um, advice legally. Um, kind of getting help from trusted friends that may not be there or may get confusing advice. So make sure that you're clearly speaking. Um, I will tell you that there's going to be a lot of scandals. They keep talking about this. Everything that I've read is talking about scandals coming forward. Shortly after the um, eclipse, we also have Saturn square Uranus. And that kind of climaxes on um, June 14th. And this is going to be a very restrictive kind of unexpected um, things that are going to be changing. Um, I will say that this is going to make it really har harder to uh, bring in changes that you don't want. So you may have things like, I didn't want this and it's coming back into you. So you're going to feel that amping up. So kind of just in general, this is going to be a pretty hard um, uh, solar eclipse. This is not one that's going to be very easy. Um, people are going to feel very deceived um, almost even poisoned by um, other people uh, with their information and technology. Um, it's one of those, there's a lot of, of people that are going to, that normally feel very self-confident and very encouraged um, that are going to feel the complete opposite. So they are going to feel like out of whack completely. 
uh, when we kind of combine our um, lunar eclipse on the 26th of May and our solar eclipse um, now, it's one of those, this energy together is going to bring up more greed, more excess, immorality, indecencies, more crime, more disease, um, confusion, deceptions, um, more lies coming forward. So it's kind of like now we're clearing out the plate. Everything kind of like we're shaking the the blanket and see what else falls out. So this is going to be a really, really heavy energy. So um, let me pull a couple of angel cards and see if I can get any, any other information for you. So let's see. Support. There is support on the other side for what we're doing. Um, so you need to call on your angels and guides and make sure that you are calling on them as you work through this. Um, the other thing is make sure that you are asking them to look over your text messaging and emailing. And even when you're talking to someone, make sure that you have time to kind of look over things or look at things in a different way. So this one is popping out. So let's do this one. Divine Guidance. This is coming at the right time, not only for our planet, but the right time for each of the countries to kind of let things out, to kind of stop withholding um, information. So I do feel like there's going to be a lot of information rolling forward. There's going to be a lot of truth being told, a lot of things coming to light. Um, and that is going to make us feel kind of like, wow, this is, you know, I knew something was going on, but didn't understand everything that was behind it. So... <clears throat> That's one of the things that's going to be really interesting during this time frame. Um, you, uh, setting your intention. It's one of those, if you're working through this personally, if you know you're going to be affected by Mercury and Neptune, if you normally are, these are things that um, are going to affect you more than others. And with the kind of the boost of energy from the solar eclipse, know that your intentions need to be set hard and fast and make sure that you are having clear communication with the other people around you. Let me pull one more card here. Oh, this one's popping out. Study. This is a really good time to kind of take some time to yourself and study, um, almost like study what emails you want to send or what are the words or what can I update or um, upgrade in my words as I communicate with others. It's really, really important. Um, one of the things I will link down below is to my video series, um, Upgrading Your Words. It's really important that we upgrade our words and draw in only the most pristine energy at this time frame. I will tell you personally, this is going to be a really strong eclipse. Um, part of it coming um, over Canada and then it's part of it over the United States. It is going to be a really, really strong one. And it, like I said, it's going to affect all everybody in some degree, but there are going to be certain people and certain governments that are going to be a, a little bit more exposed than others. And it'll be interesting to kind of see how things play out over the next few months as this energy is still really heightened, like I said, for probably the next three months. It will still be around for a while, but it's going to be really heightened for that first three months, and then it'll kind of start to, to lessen as we go through. So this isn't just like only for this one day. Um, be careful of your communication. It's um, for a while, and make sure that you are getting really clear communication um, with coworkers, with bosses, with um, your family members. Make sure that you're getting really clear communication with them. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.